So in our proposed solution, besides the low voltage DC dimming, of course we also have a 220 to 240 volt AC version that utilizes the dim EC 450 watts phase dimmers and a phase dimmable constant voltage LED driver from another one of our business partners, EZIC. This is the setup that the light box is connected to the constant voltage phase dimmable driver which is then connected to our uh, dimmer evaluation box okay and the evaluation box is further connected to the power meter here so uh, you can see now at no dimming operation as around 26.2 or 26.1 watts that's going into the light box now. Let's try to use our uh, one touch dimmer to demonstrate. Now, assuming this is the level that we would like to control, okay and we can see this power that's actually going in is around 3.8 watt or 4 watt okay now assuming this is the as, as for this application we only want to dim down the light box to avoid energy wastage which is too much heat too much and too much light we can use our minimum set feature to fix the minimum brightness level for daily operation and to do this it's very straightforward we see the device option here and all we need is to set the device the flash only means that it confirms the memory has been record now once this is set we use our one touch we can always adjust the uh, brightness upward if we need more lux output for whatever reason okay and then you can see now it's back to 26 a full power now as we have already set to a minimum so this backs to what we were set before and we would not go f further than this okay so since the post disk may change frequently and the visual effect is also subject to the artwork design and background color etc. Installers can easily clear the memory and set it again in next installation. And to do this is again very simple. All we need is to clear the memory. Okay, then we can set for again whatever brightness level. Okay, from for the next installation. Okay, the other advantage of this uh, dimmers, the digital dimmers, is that we have wake up memory of the last dimmed level. So. It's not necessary to manually adjust the brightness every day or every time when the light box or signage is powered up again. Okay, as dimming actually saves more energy from the ex excess lux output, this power saving would translate to actual electricity bill saving and would be more important for lighting applications that need to be on for most of the day. Again, let's also see the temperature of the system okay the temperature is around 29 for the poster and for the driver is around 30 degrees okay Now in actual installation, our 
proposal is to have the dimmers installed in the electrical or control rooms while some dedicated power sockets are connected to the face dimmed AC source for the face dimmable AD drivers to be connected. It's very easy for the cabling. In fact, this is really the same setup here. Okay, which you have this switch place that's connected to the to the um, wall box to, to, to the control to the control room and this is actually connected to this power so socket is connected somewhere near the light source the, the, the light box okay and since each of our face dimmers supports up to 450 watt and multiple dimmers can be installed on the same plate just like this okay so multiple com combinations of the dimmer and LED drivers are possible and retrofitting projects are fairly straightforward now in conclusion the value of dimmable LED advertisements should be clear to the industry players and we have presented both the DC 1 to 10 volt dimming and the AC phase dimming proposal for the dimmable LED advertisement applications. Okay. We have also looked at the power factor for both proposals which are both above 0 0.9 and that's, um, and that's important for this type of applications. The suggested connection is very simple basically only a dimmer is added and just need to ensure the appropriate LED drivers with the right dim and control interface are used. We have also showed the new dim easy family member DZ1G110 our 1 to 10 volt controller with minimum trim which would be available to market by end of May 2016. For interested parties please contact us. And this would conclude our video here. To learn more about our demo technology and product benefits, please check out other videos in the series. Once again, thank you for watching.